In this video, we are going to tackle the threats to biodiversity. But before that, what is biodiversity exactly? Biodiversity talks about the variety of living organisms. It also brings together the different species and forms of life, including plants, bacteria, animals, and of course, human. For ecological support, biodiversity provides functioning ecosystems that supply oxygen, clean air and water, pollination of plants, pest control, wastewater treatment, and many ecosystem services. So now let's tackle about the threats to biodiversity. So first is the climate change. Climate change refers to the long-term and irreversible change that occurs in the Earth's climate. This increase in the temperature of the atmosphere has major effects on the environment, such as the seasons, rising of the sea levels, and glacial retreats. The biodiversity of organisms are affected regarding the population, distribution, level of ecosystem, and even the individual's morphology and function. Next is the habitat loss and degradation. Habitat loss refers to the changes in the environment that results to the rendering of the specific habitat to be functionally valuable. So what are the causes of habitat loss? These are natural calamities, geological events, anthropogenic activities like deforestation and man-induced climate change. In the process of habitat degradation, the organisms that were once living in a particular area or region are displaced and are forced to relocate, thus resulting in biodiversity reduction. The third threat to biodiversity is the pollution. Be it water, air, or land pollution, all forms of pollution appear to be a threat to all life forms on Earth. However, it plays a major threat to biodiversity when it comes to the nutrients loading of the elements nitrogen and phosphorus. Next to habitat loss, invasive species are ranked as the second biggest threat to biodiversity. The greatest threat that the invasive species can bring is their capability to change an entire habitat. These species are highly adaptable and can easily dominate a certain area. Because many natural species survive only in a particular environment, they tend to be displaced or worse, perish. Lastly is the over-exploitation. Over-harvesting, over-fishing, and over-hunting are some examples of over-exploitation. So as population or ecosystem continues to suffer from low species diversity, the probability of getting wiped out completely when a natural disaster or other forces increases. So what can we do now? Let us participate in biodiversity conservation by increasing our knowledge of environmental issues, increasing our awareness of the impacts of biodiversity loss, and increasing support for government policies and actions that conserve our valuable ecosystem. We can become educators and role models as towards of the environment by aiding in the recovery of species at risk and preventing other species from becoming at risk.